Hello and welcome to Wallace Toy Reviews. I am Wallace, and because there was a time when I collected Beyblade battle spinning tops, today I want to show you how to assemble and disassemble a sample toy of this type. In my case, Ray Striker D125CS. Let's begin. So this is how our bay looks when it's complete. And this is how it looks incomplete, minus the assembly tool, which is by the way probably not from this set, this is the one I could find first. But it's going to be useful nonetheless. So here we have the face bolt, the performance tip, spin track, fusion wheel and energy ring, and all of these interlock nicely. And let's start from the bottom to the top. So first we deal with performance tip, known as CS or coating spike or coat sharp, and spin track D125 or defense 125. These can combine separately from the rest of the bay. So over here we have some grooves with two cutouts that will connect over here using these two small protrusions on the spin track. So we just get one aligned with the other, like that. And now we get our hands on the assembly tool. So it has two sides. Right now we are interested with the one that's circular with these small protrusions. We align them with what we have on performance tip and twist it to the right. And this will lock these two parts together. Now we have to get our hands on the remaining pieces so first we can get our hands on the fusion wheel ray, which we will now align with our construct. And no, this may be confusing, but these cutouts are not for the benefit of this part. This is for the energy ring. In fact, we want to align these pieces so that the fusion wheel creates a sort of cross with these elements in the spin track. And that is because there are small tabs facing bottom on the energy wheel, this one and this one, and these are the things that will actually go into these cutouts in the spin track. So we have to align them like that. Of course, you can try to align the spin track in a different way, but this way is the only one that will ensure that these will stick together once they are properly pushed together. So do this and it helps that with certain types of parts you can see these tabs in the silhouette behind. And now we get our hands on the face bolt, the unicorn or monoceros to combine the energy ring, striker or unicorn 01 with ray. So yes, this is basically a bolt which you place inside here and despite all of these holes this actually screws into the grooves inside the spin track. So this acts as sort of a spine for the whole bay. So we place it and now we get our hands on the assembly tool again and spin it so that we have this wheel with two flat surfaces. This will wrap around the face bolt and again we have to spin it until we have no more place to spin. And this way our bay is now assembled and if we want to put it on a shelf for it to look pretty, which I always do like to do, we again use the side for the spin track and as you can see there's a small cutout in the assembly tool which works as a angled stand. And this is how I like to display my bays. And now let's disassemble the bay again, should you want to customize it with parts from other sets or just clean it from dust, which I sometimes have to do. So first we take our bay off the, the assembly tool and now we use again this piece with two flat surfaces to unscrew the face bolt from the rest of our bay, twist it left until it goes out without any hitch. So off with the unicorno and now we can simply wiggle out the energy ring and also remove the fusion wheel 
And finally, we take care of the spin track performance tip assembly. So we rotate it so that we can see the bottom, get our hands on the assembly tool, flip it around so that we have this more circular hole visible, and now we align one with the grooves in the performance tip, and just gently spin it to the left, separating the remaining parts of our bay. And that's it! Our bay is now ready for cleaning, or perhaps customization. And that's all for this Beyblade themed video. I hope you liked it, and if you'd like to see more videos on the topic of Beyblade, let me know in the comments. I'll be back with the next video soon, so until then, stay well. Thank you for watching.